Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. The day has finally arrived, it is the pre-patch day. Actually, yesterday was pre-patch day, but the servers didn't come up at all, so... Uh, the servers are up today, the 19th, and we're gonna start our Blood Elf Paladin playthrough. For those of you new to the channel, I will be reading all of the quests and checking out any of the lore objects that we find along the way. And so this playthrough specifically is going to be Eversong Woods and the Ghostlands. We'll take this character to about level 25 or 26 or so in that process. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into things here. For nearly 7,000 years, the High Elves cultivated a shining magical kingdom, hidden deep within the forests of Northern Lordaeron. But five years ago, the undead Scourge invaded Quel'Thalas and drove the elves to the brink of extinction. Led by the evil Death Knight Arthas, the Scourge destroyed the mystical Sunwell, thereby severing the elves from the source of their arcane power. Though the scars of that conflict are evident, the remaining elves have banded together and retaken much of their homeland. Calling themselves Blood Elves, these grim survivors are committed to regaining the vast powers they once commanded. Inspired by the leadership of their beloved prince, Kael'thas Sunstrider, the Blood Elves now seek new sources of arcane magic and the means of defending their land against the undying horrors of the Scourge. As one of the few surviving Blood Elves, you must master your thirst for magic and help shape the destiny of your people. All right, and look at all the Blood Elf Paladins. This should be a lot of fun. We'll see how difficult it is to get quest mobs and stuff. Uh, some of these I might, I might uh, skim read because we just did a playthrough on the rug where we read all of these in detail, so we'll see. Reclaiming Sunstrider Isle, the sooner you begin your education, the better for us all. There is little room for error, so listen closely. The burning crystals, the green floating objects to the west of the Sunspire here, have long been used to power the Isle's experimentations. The mana worms were their guardians, but the scourge invasion of Quel'Thalas has driven them errant from our lack of magical control over them. So we're gonna go kill some. Let's check some of the sound settings here really quick to make sure everything's where we want it. Probably stand to turn the volume up a little bit. All right. Error speech is off. Let's turn auto loot on. Get that taken care of early. Uh, what do we have on our bar here? We have Seal of Righteousness. Fills the Paladin with Holy Spirit for 30 seconds, granting each melee attack an additional six holy damage. All right. Nothing has really changed there. Holy Light. Uh, we can move. We'll need to be using these at least for one quest. This should restore... Silences all enemies. In addition, you gain mana. Yeah, it restores mana uh, per mana tap charge. Alright, and then we have auto attack for now. Let's, let's get to it. Shrink this down a little bit. I feel like this level 5 is like one-shotting these. Maybe I should keep uh, my mana tap up so that if we do need mana we can just get some back with Arcane Torrent.
All right, let's not stay out here any longer than we need to. Let's hell, let's head back. It's weird, I remember in the beta, we leveled by killing the eight that we needed. We didn't gain a level there. Glory to the Sindor Eye. You've successfully completed your first task. For that, you are to be congratulated. Such successes gives me faith that you will turn out to be better than those young blood elves who fail to heed the lessons of their masters. Continued success will be rewarded, not only with knowledge, but also with tangible rewards as well. Uh, let's take the chain boots. Your effort has made something clear that honestly I wish were not true. The unchecked power of the burning crystals has maligned a much larger swath of the isle's natural balance than I thought. We must now take on more unfortunate measures to reclaim control. The nearby lynxes have succumbed to the influence of the crystals and they must be put down. Death to Sad but true. Us. State your business. They seem calm enough, but sure, let's put them down. As you advance within your class, you will want to take advantage of the training that your class trainer can provide you. For young paladins here on Sunstrider Isle, your trainer is Jethenis. Jethenis, oh good. A name I can barely pronounce. Sunstriker. Speak with him and see what training he has available for you. Be ready for anything. Let's do that first and grab a ton of other quests here. They really just give you a, a lot of quests to do right off the bat. I see the pride swelling in your chest. Already you fancy yourself one of the Blood Knights. In time, you will earn your place among us. But first, you must learn to harness and master the powers of the light. Hone your skill at arms and prove your worthiness. And now, I need for you to go do something. Well, Watcher, Selanian is in need of your services. You would do well to ingratiate yourself with him. Yes, but can we learn a skill? can learn Devotion Aura. Increases armor by 55. The reckoning is at hand. Anaria Shola. Ah good, Apelin, I've been expecting you. There are a few tasks that I have, which you are particularly suited to. With all the chaos happening here at Sunspire, I haven't had a chance to collect my belongings I've left outside at various places on the Isle. I must maintain my vigil over the Sunwell here, so I'll ask you to collect them in my stead. Farewell. Glory to the Sindori. Day after day I stand here, watching, waiting. I've been accused of dwelling too much on our past, while my eyes look to the horizon. But it is my firm belief that each visitor to this island should honor those who have sacrificed all so that they may continue to do so. Dothramar Sunstrider was our first king. He led us here from Kalimdor through the Maelstrom. Seek out his shrine to the west, and do not return to me until you have read the plaque upon it in his honor. Remember the sun well. Anaria Shola. It's a shame that we've lost control of many of the creatures here on the island. This was once a tranquil place of study and research. Now it's all we can do to keep from being attacked by our own creations. I'm going to offer you a chance to receive a magical boon in exchange for collecting some work, or collecting work on your part. Bring me a stack of arcane slivers that are found on the mana-using creatures of Sunstrider Isle. Farewell. Anaria Shola. There is only one lesson that you deign to remember from your time on Sunstrider Isle, let it be this. Control your thirst for magic. It is a thirst unending. You must absorb energy to survive via mana tap, and you must control how you release it via arcane torrent. Failure is to become one of the wretched, hopelessly addicted and insane. Seek out creatures on the Isle that have mana and mana tap them. Learn to master your cravings of power. When you have sufficiently fed, return to me. Keep your wits about you. All right, let's track some of our quests. So I guess using um, using mana tap doesn't actually tap the target for us. At least it didn't there. So 
So yeah, we need to mana tap these guys, and we need mana slivers from them, or arcane slivers. <laughs> I love how many people are out and about. It's great. The respawn rate is basically instantaneous in some cases. Okay, we need belongings as well. We probably could have done this a little bit more efficiently. Uh, there isn't one over here on this platform, I don't believe. Let's head this way. Alright, the journal is over here, if we can get unstuck. This item is being used. Okay, at least it doesn't disappear. We don't have to wait for a respawn. That's good. Uh, now, there are some aggressive enemies down here, but we should be able to sneak in and grab this item. We don't need these treants yet. Or tenders, I guess they're called. I always call them treants or trents. We'll just grab the scrying orb. Then we're going to head to the west. We also need to be grabbing some lynx collars if we come across any lynx that are not uh, dead. Which right now they all seem to be. Yeah, not having any kind of ranged attack really hurts us early on, doesn't it? When it comes to actually tagging enemies. Oh good, mana tap. Oh, we can mana tap these guys and that works. Alright, and here is the scroll of scourge magic. And if we head a little bit farther back here to the northwest, we'll get to the shrine. You've discovered the location of the shrine. Upon further examination, you sense a strong pulse of strange power that has gripped the aisle. You feel a bit uncomfortable standing by the, sh the shrine, and perhaps a little disturbed. The bronze placard along the side of the shrine reads, Here stands the shrine of Dathramar, fitting tribute to a noble elf. Let all who gaze upon this monument remember his sacrifice against the scourge, and his dedication to the cause of our continued survival. All who prosper and quell the loss do so thanks to him. Mm -hmm. 
All right, on the way back here, we'll look for more lynxes. Lynx? It's probably plural for itself. Uh, let's head up the hill here. And they're already taken by a mage. See if we can maybe get this one. Same thing here, we might be best suited to kind of just stand and wait for the respawns to come back. I feel like when you run off, things start respawning behind you. Too slow once again. Yeah, it's going to be the kill quests that are annoying, isn't it? At least until everyone kind of pulls ahead or falls behind. And even if we were in a group, we would have to share the loot. Um, we can't both loot an item, so... You're just talking about having to kill twice as many if you group up. Okay, I'm going to turn some of these in. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time waiting out here. We have other things to do here. This place is completely saturated with players. Yeah, I'd planned to be able to get this video out uh, yesterday, but the servers didn't come online like they were supposed to. And I don't think they came online until about 1 a.m. my time today. Well, what do we have? We have Solarian's belongings. Let's go up here. Someone killed the cat. How awful. The eternal sun guides us. Well done, I knew you'd be perfect for the task. Once it's safe to make use of the outdoor facilities on the aisle, I'll be putting these things to good use, like I mentioned. Please feel free to keep the satchel. Also, you may find this piece of armor to be useful. Uh, barely. We have a couple of pieces we need to equip. That should do for now. Thank you for sharing your experience at the Shrine of Dothramar. First off, you should be commended for your sense of duty and respect. It will serve you well, not only here, but in all of Azeroth as well. As for the odd sensation, it is no doubt a contributing part of the taint that has befallen Sunstrider Isle. We shall keep an eye on it. Thank you for alerting us to it. Keep your wits about you. We will persevere. Splendid, these will do nicely. I've been doing quite a bit of thinking on the current malaise of Sunstrider Isle. One possible course of action I had pondered was to collect these arcane slivers from the beast on the isle. In doing so, they could be experimented on. This would provide a potential source of culpability. Anyway, I will tend to the research. Yeah, you do that. Let's equip our bag. There we go, extra bag space, always necessary. Probably one of the better rewards we can get at a low level. What business have you? You've done well today. Your willingness to learn shows you may rise above the under... Oh, sorry. Unyielding cravings you must endure as a blood elf. Rest not on your laurels, young one, but instead seek to master what you have learned. Only through diligence will we as a race survive. Take this. It may be of some use to you. Go now and bring glory once more to our people. We'll take the gloves. Hold your head high. All right, it's coming together. It's coming together. Let's sell what we don't need. Salama 
And now we just have the Lynx Collars. I, I was hoping that we would get the follow-up to talk to the guy who tells us to go kill the Trents, but apparently this is the lead-in quest. So of all the quests for us to not have completed, this was not the one that we wanted to leave uncompleted. Let's go back out and hopefully find some more Lynx. I think maybe there are some back in the hills. If we if we can't get any out here, maybe we need to find parts of the island that aren't as populated. Yeah, the game is almost like stand where you see bodies disappearing. Which is not very exciting, I'll tell you that. At least the drop rate seems okay. It's not a hundred percent, but it's not terrible. A lot of people are just picking a spot and staying in it. All right, we got all the Lynx colors. Doing that took a little while. If there are quests like that that are just going to be tedious because there's a lot of other people farming the same enemies, I'll probably cut some of that farming out. It's not very interesting to see somebody stand in one place, picking off mobs as they respawn. At least, I don't think it is. Uh, to each their own, I guess. But yeah, I'll probably edit some of those parts out when that happens. Our enemies will fall. Gives me no pleasure to ask you to destroy these beasts. Oh, sure. The tower and surrounding areas should now be relatively secure, though only for the time being. You have done well in providing us with a buffer of security, but we will need to reassert control over the entire isle if we are to survive here in the long run. Let's take the chest. You are to report to my assistant, Lanthan Paralon. He will instruct you on what needs to be done next. While we here at the Sunspire will continue to rain in the burning crystals, you will be focused on a more pressing matter concerning Falthrian Academy. Lanthorn will explain fully when you speak to him. Keep your wits about you. And he's the guy that we saw hanging out by the trees at the crossroad over here. Magistrix Irona told me you'd be along quick enough. The Falthrian Academy to our west, the huge floating building with ornate spires is in bad shape. You're going to be leading the effort to recapture it from one of the wretched, a blood elf who has forever succumbed to their basest cravings. I hope you're ready to work. This is not only going to be a lesson about danger, but also of what happens when you forsake the realities of who you are. Time is of the essence. Before sending you to the Academy, I want you on another task that needs to be dealt with immediately. Once used to aid us in gardening, the bestial tenders now have grown out of control. Clear them out with due haste, but be warned. Their lack of control has made them aggressive. It is such aggression that forces us to put down these once gentle servants. We will have justice. There's the treant quest. Uh, where are we going to find the majority of these guys? They're all over here to the south. I know we're at low level here, but it's actually kind of surprising me how quickly we are tearing through these guys. Maybe it's because we're a paladin, I don't know. Seems like everybody's doing the same uh, caliber of damage. Maybe that's just BC numbers.
Yeah, pulling multiple here is, is definitely the way to go. There's not a good reason not to pull multiple if they are nearby. So yeah, we're only killing them in a couple of hits. We need feral tenders, which, what, they're the red ones, okay. One more. There's a couple up here. These are all regular tenders. And we just clear them out for the experience. Victory lies ahead. While the deaths of these tenders gives me no joy whatsoever, it does show me that you're ready for the most important task you'll do here on Sunstrider Isle. Take this and put it to good use. You'll need good items and sharp wits for the task ahead. Our reassertion of control over the island depends on it. Oh, uh, we get a one-handed sword. Mmm. Okay. It does more damage, however, uh, if we're going to have a one-headed sword, I'd love to get a shield. A betrayer of our people resides atop Valthrian Academy to the southwest. Falendrin is his name, and he was banished from Blood Elf lands for failing to heed the warnings of our teachers and elders. He is the worst of our society, as he lives only to feed his insatiable magical addictions. He refused to learn control. He is a shell of his former self, one of the wretched. And he is a threat to the Sunspire. Destroy him and the wraiths he uses as his minions. Alright guys, we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we will head up into the academy. And we'll fight the wraiths. And we'll take out Falendrin. And see where we go from there. I think soon after that, we're going to be headed over to Falcon Wing Square. So let me know what you guys think. As always, I really appreciate you guys being here. And showing support for the series it does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we'll see you back on Sunstrider Isle really soon. Bye now.